humbly request our uh, guest of honor or the organizer of this program, Professor Najma Akhtar Ma'am, to express his view, her views to the participants. I begin by thanking the Vice Chancellor, Professor Aslam Parviz, uh, to for agreeing to give us this opportunity to NEPA uh, to come from there to uh, to Manu and hold this program here. We have been asking people from uh, this part of India to come to Delhi, and this time we have come from there to uh, hold Thank it you. here. The idea is also that. Uh, if it is, it, this type of programs are very much needed and the more the merrier, the more people should come and uh, join, many institutions should come and join and getting funding for this from the Government of India is not so uh, difficult because Government of India has to uh, see that institutions which are there because of the constitutional co commitment uh, do flourish well. And uh, not many people are doing this program. So uh, my idea is that let Manu continue this program. Uh, let NIPA also do it. Let any other institution should also do it. But let Manu also take it up as, as their uh, responsibility. I begin by thanking the HRDC, UGC HRDC of Manu, and the uh, two eminent people uh, there who have not only agreed to uh, have us here, but also did a lot of uh, groundwork, a lot of work before we landed here. So everything uh, that is that looks in an orderly manner today is because of their contribution. And we have been ringing up at very odd times to them, uh, asking the, particularly <laughs> Madam Tassin to, and the, uh, uh, to uh, make arrangements for certain things. And uh, to the uh, registrar's up, who I thank him for l listening to a problem immediately and taking a decision about the uh, accommodation of. So this, if Manu has a registrar who can take quick decisions, there's a lot of. Uh, <laughs> no, because of the com uh, uh, confidence of the vice chancellor on him, so it has a very good future, and present also. This is the tenth program in the series. We have been doing it for the last 10 years. And this is the second type of program that we do every year. That is one program for minority managed school principals. My, then this is for minority married degree college principals. It is immaterial whether you are coming from a Yunani college or from an engineering college or from any other college. Because if you are uh, working in a minority institution, you have different type of problems, different type of responsibilities, and different types of rights that you have to be aware and implement them. Also, the idea is to collect people from all over the country. And uh, I am sure that the list shows that this has representation from different parts of the country. Uh, is that people can come here, spend some time together, and listen to each other's problems, listen to each other's solution, and listen to each other's, uh, maybe how they, they are able to cope with it, their responsibilities, how they, their innovative uh, things that they have done in their area. So the, the main learning is not from what people from this side are speaking to you, the main learning for us is to listen to what you are speaking to us and what you are speaking to each other. So it's a peer group learning which is mo most important in this. So please, I, in the morning also I said, please keep on speaking, telling us your experiences. Stopping me, when I was talking in the morning, you stop me in the middle and say that this is what I have experienced. This is, then we'll be successful, actually. The word uh, minority, as we know, is, has been derived from the Latin word minor, which means small in number, which may be, uh, in the Constitution of India speaks of two types of minorities. One is the regional, re religion and other is linguistic minority. The Constitution defines five religious minorities. Muslim, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists, Parsis, and Jains were added 
at a accommodated at a later stage. The majority here is 79.8 percent. I'm not don't I'm not worried about the exactness of the percentages that we talk. It shows the difference, the uh, the size of the minority that we represent here. Uh, majority is 70 uh, around 80 percent, and Muslim being the second uh, biggest religious minority is 14 percent. Six being seven 1.7 percent. Christians 2.3 percent. Jains 0.4%, Buddhist 0.7%, Parsi is almost insignificant. The, therefore, all these minorities, as, as they are given some rights and their duties under the constitution, they demand for a pluralistic nation and an equal treatment as a citizen of India. But, and therefore, when we demand something, we also should know what our right and what our responsibilities are. Our this we are uh, rights also come under the human rights, which says that uh, to promote tolerance and to res respect the diversity. We um, Muslims are the highest in India. When you see the uh, education scenario, Muslims are the highest percentage of illiterates which is 43%. And Jains are the highest literate, which is 86.4%, which is much, much more than the national average itself. And therefore, what one, I keep on referring to another minority is, if they can attain it, why can't this minority do it? Every minority has its limitations. Every minority has its upper and lower points. But if they can try, and they, uh, we can also try and uh, reach there. Such occasions are to discuss why we have, we are not able to uh, reach that level, and how we will try to reach that level. Christians' literacy is 74.3 percent, again much more than the national average. Six has 67.5. Buddhist has 71.5, so all the minorities are much more than the majority community has 63.6 percent. So these minorities are much better than being small in size, but being much better than, uh, than the majority, which is there. Muslim is the weakest, attaining only 57.3 percent. And the... Uh, the importance of the Muslim being discussing again and again the Muslim uh, literacy rate is that India will never be attain higher levels of literacy unless the Muslims are carried with them. So it has to the uh, Muslims if they are getting special attention, it is not because of the because of their um, uh, because of the appeasement. They are, they, are, they are getting uh, full in, uh, support so that the low literacy rate becomes better and they are, um, the literacy rate of the total Indian <coughs> country becomes better. I will not be speaking uh, much. I am very happy to see people from uh, various, uh, you must be getting this list also after some time, uh, getting uh, people from different areas who are coming, who are here. And uh, these programs, when we organize them in, in Delhi or uh, anywhere, like the, for the first time here, uh, here we mean business. When we, call, when we invite you, as I told you in the morning, we are not going to give you a, a much time to see uh, Hyderabad, you can see it one day after, after the it is over. And in Delhi, we also ask them to come one day before, stay one day later, but don't uh, try to run away in the middle and attend all the session because each session, as you have seen in your information guide that you have, you'll see that the timetable is very tightly packed. And each session, if you want to decide which session I'm going to uh, leave it is not easy because each session is very important and very eminent people are coming 
from outside, from Delhi also, and also from here, which he has uh, arranged, and um, people from. We were also hoping that we'll get uh, the Joint Secretary from MoMA, Ministry of On the last moment, he, he was not able to. He said, I'll still keep on trying. Because when people come, you can directly pose your problems with them. That's important. The objectives of this program is to acquaint the principals or the administrators. Because I, you can see that some administrators uh, who, and who are not principals but working as administrators in one way or the other are become aware of the changing scenario of higher education because higher education nowadays in India is changing at a very, very fast pace. And um, uh, that you will never be uh, knowing if you're engaged in your routine work. So it's good time you get uh, five days to sit together and see how it is changing and why it is changing. We'll also be trying to see the issues related to minority in higher education with special reference to Muslim minorities. Techniques of planning and management for institutional development. Because this is something which none of our courses will be teaching you. So institutional development techniques. We want to give you an exposure to available government and non-government support system available for minority institution. So we have invited people from UGC, from many other places. They'll be coming and talking to you about what type of support system they, they have and from where you can get funds, or for, you, for yourself or for your students, which is important. And because it has been found that students who complete uh, class 12th, Muslim students, if they complete class 12th, they do better in uh, university system. Because the important thing is give them a push at the class 12th level. Although that is not your concern, but when we uh, talk about it in the school um, program, we give a lot of attention to that. Well, because comparatively, seeing their um, performance, it is better if they are able to get into university. Because in university, they are not so they are not dropping out. And the f most important thing is, fairly, uh, through this program, we f uh, facilitate that everybody learns from the experience of the other. So every uh, day, every day after the, before the um, sessions close, the last session is dedicated to learning from each other, learning experience. And today also we'll be having it. I'll request my... Uh, uh, we uh, will also see that he'll take you to one of the institution where you can actually see a minority institution, how, how it is functioning, and then compare it with yourself. I'll request my uh, colleague, Professor Panda, to give more details about the program uh, so that it is quite clear how we intend to do the program. And I thank, the, uh, thank Manu and its officials and the Vice Chancellor uh, to again before I uh, finish and look forward for working with you for a long, long time. Thank you.